Hello and welcome to this lesson on health and safety. Uh, this lesson we're going to look at what health and safety is, understand the use of a risk assessment, how and why location recces are completed and be able to describe some safe working practices. So a hazard, uh, what on earth is a hazard? Um, to put it simply, a hazard is something that may be dangerous or risky okay so if you think about when we're in the, in the classroom for example hazards in the classroom could include computers anything electrical when you're moving around the room is there stuff in the way that can you fall over and obviously fire as well if there's a fire then that's very very serious hazard um, it is important that any company can identify potential hazards so they can put a plan in place to avoid them we'll look at that on the next slide all right so uh, first thing we'll look at is something called a risk assessment and a risk assessment to put it simply is carried out as a way of reducing potential risks so um what they include is what the hazard name is so what on earth is the hazard what are the risks of that particular hazard who is at risk e.g you me and you or anyone else how can it be controlled and the level of risk? Uh, this slide just shows an example of a risk assessment. So down this side here, you have your hazards. So things that could cause harm for somebody. Uh, this one says, what is at risk or who is at risk, I say. Um, so here, from, for example, the fire, students and staff may suffer burns, smoke inhalation or potentially fatal injuries, blah, blah, blah. Um, so who at risk, it's pretty again, it's repeating itself here, staff and students are at risk. Uh, control measure basically is how that company or school, um, what have they put in place to make sure that this won't happen, the risk won't happen. So e.g. at our school, we've got um, fire extinguishers all over the place, we've got fire alarms in place, that sort of thing. Um, the last one is called risk level. And that is how serious it is if it, if it happens. Um, so risk level of electrical equipment is quite low because it probably will. It's, it's not really going to happen, is it? It doesn't happen very often. Um, say with a fire, it's medium risk because it rarely happened. But, but when they do, they are quite serious. Um, safe working practices. Uh, these are put in place after a risk assessment has been carried out. So once one of these has been completed, they'll put safe working practices in place. Um, and it gives you an instruction how to carry out a task safely. So for example, if we go, if you think of science lesson um, and you're using all the dangerous chemicals, um, what their practice is that you wear goggles or you wear gloves, for example, to protect yourself from those bad chemicals hurting your eyes or hurting your skin, for example. Um, these, these look at when using a computer, what are safe working practices when doing a computer? So, uh, when you're using a computer, it's quite common that you get eye strain or headaches. Um, your eyes can become strained after staring at a screen for too long, especially when working at bad light. So, if a room's dark and the screen's bright, it can cause your eyes to hurt. Um, some solutions for that, though, what you should be doing or your company or the school should be doing is having the monitors at the same height as your eyes. If the monitor is right at the bottom and your eyes are looking are like above the monitor, it hurts your eyes a little bit looking at it. Don't sit too close to the screen as well. If you sit too close to the screen, um, you will eyes, your eyes will start to hurt. Um, take regular breaks. So every hour, take about five minutes just to get away from the computer. Um, back pain. Very common in computers. Um, and this can be caused due to poor posture or sitting in a weird way. Um, so what you should do is you make sure your chair is fully adjustable so you can move that chair wherever you want. Um, use foot rests so that legs are at a natural angle. Um, take regular breaks to walk around. Don't slouch because that can really hurt your back. Um, and have the monitor again at eye level again. Uh, RSI this one here so rsi stands for repetitive strain injury and it's basically damage to fingers and wrists um due to movement over long periods of time um so 
a few solutions for this. I use wrist rests that make sure you, you, you wrist can get the rest it needs, take regular breaks and ensure work stations are correct height. Um, cables, tripping over cables can also cause harm. So make sure you cover them with tape, something like that to keep them out of the way. Um, and also to make them more visible as well. The tape around it, which is stuff like this around the tape at the top, that can make it more visible. Um, more safe working practices, when you're working at height, so you might be filling a light bulb or putting something on the wall, um, you should wear safety gear, really, such as a hard hat and maybe have safety barriers around as well. Um, when working with heavy equipment, so things like heavy boxes, that sort of thing, um, to avoid injury to the back, you should use correct lifting techniques. So um, go to your knees, lift the box up rather than just doing it from your back. Um, a location recce then. Um, this is used when before recording a video. So all the big companies use it. There's BBC here a lot, ITV use everything else. And they check that where they're filming is suitable for filming. Has any, is there any problems with that location? Is it easy to access? Any facilities available, e.g. toilets, for example? And any potential sound or light issues? So will the sound echo? Is there enough light on the set? That sort of thing. Um, here these again, look. So they include access. So if, if, so if a film was being... So if they were shooting a film at a park, is that park easy to get to? On that park, is there any power, any plug sockets to plug the camera equipment into? Um, lighting or sound, is there any natural light coming onto a park? Is there any background noise, either the kids playing on the park next door? Is there a bit of noise in the background? Um, permission, are you allowed to film on a park? When you ask for permission from a local council or something like that. Um, problems, what might cause a problem or be risky when filming on a park? Um, probably a few things really. Uh, suitability, you think the location is suitable to film whatever's being filmed. Um, okay, uh, things to remember, hazard is something that, can, that may be dangerous or risky. A risk assessment is carried out as a way of identifying and reducing potential risks. Uh, a location recce is typically carried out before recording video. Um, and again, these are the stages again. Does the location have good access? Does it have power? Does it have natural light or any background noise? Is it suitable? Are any problems with it? And do you, do you need permission or do you have permission to film at that site?